Hey guys, welcome back to another review on my channel. Today I'm doing a Fallout 3 review. Uh, the reason, uh, before I get into the video, sorry, uh, the reason I haven't uploaded in a while is generally because of uh, college. I had a lot of coursework to do to catch up on, and yeah, I didn't have enough time to upload or edit for that matter. So yeah, the re that's the reason I haven't uploaded. But um, yeah, uh, let's get straight into the Fallout 3 review. And hope you guys enjoy. If you do, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. And uh, let's get into it. So, Fallout 3 is a post-apocalyptic action role-playing game, which is an open world, meaning you can go anywhere in the world. There is boundaries, but there's not loads, like to an extent of where you can go to a, quite a distance, but there is a boundary. Uh, it was developed by Bethesda Game Studios and published by Bethesda Softworks. Uh, Fallout uh, 3 came out in 2008, so it's 10 years old uh, in, I think, October the 30th? I'm not sure, uh, but I'm more than certain it is. Uh, so yeah, it's 10 years old. It's insane. Uh, the game still holds up today, in my opinion, uh, and it definitely deserves uh, the respect it gets from the graphics it gives. So, at the start of the game, you start as a baby. This is where you pick your stats uh, you want to level up, like strength and luck. Uh, these are types of stats which help you through the game. Uh, obviously, strength makes you stronger, so you can do lift heavier stuff and carry more, I think. Um, but yeah, um, luck is obviously... Uh, you get lucky spurts in the game where it'd be so unlikely, but it because you've got high luck... You get uh, better stuff and all that sort of stuff. Uh, and lots of others to choose from, obviously. Uh, then you go up uh, until you're 16. Uh, this is where everything goes completely wrong. And the everything goes wrong in the vault. And you have to get out of that. Which is a quite a unique start to a game. It makes you panic a little bit in the sense of, oh, it's all nice and calm. And then, bang, we put you straight into a scenario where you don't know what to do. But you, you have to get through it, uh, which I find kind of cool. So uh, this is your pit boy. Uh, this is uh, this helps you you guide your way through the wasteland in Fallout 3. Uh, it's very useful, especially if you need to find something or a checkpoint or something along the lines of that. But it's very useful in the game, and I'm going to explain a little bit more into that uh, right now. Uh, so uh, this page on on your pit boy shows your local map, world map, uh, quests, notes, and a radio. Uh, pretty much uh, the most important part of uh, this uh, page is the local map and world map uh, because it gives you more detail on certain bits. I'll tell you in just a second a bit more information about this. So as you can tell, uh, the local map and world map world map are completely different. Uh, local map uh, shows you in buildings and stuff where the world map shows you what you've unlocked like cities uh, and places around the actual open world uh, map itself uh, so yeah that's really really helpful uh, so this page of the pit boy shows your spe uh, stats special skills perks and general uh, but the most important thing uh, is the special on this page uh, just on the basis of what you have to do and makes you go through the game I'll explain more information right now so as you can tell on the screen you've got your strength, uh, perception, endurance, charisma, intelligence, agility and luck. Pretty much you upgrade these, you will start at 5 and you upgrade them. Uh, this means if you upgrade a certain one you get better at that. So it is actually really helpful for the game and I really, really strongly advise you to do, upgrade a lot of this. Uh, so this page on your pit boy is, in my opinion, one of the most important uh, up there with uh, your special. Uh, pretty much if this is your weapons. Uh, aid and your ammo which is important as well obviously uh so yeah this is definitely up there with the special uh page where you upgrade your perks and stuff as weapons come very handy in scenarios so as you can tell tell what i've zoomed in uh this is the list of uh the order of what everything goes in on the pit boy um in this page anyway pretty much the weapons imperial aid misc and ammo uh are all in this this section uh you can see this it's like this layout uh throughout the whole of the pit boy uh which is very handy it's very basic uh very uh organized and it's easy to get to uh which is always a bonus especially if you're in the middle of a fight uh which yeah is very handy and 
definitely deserves credit. Uh, so what I'm showing you now is some uh, actual gameplay that I recorded uh, with uh, on my Xbox, obviously. And yeah, as you can tell, uh, it is quite uh, how can I put, not its dull color, but the su the, the surroundings are so like considering this is 2008, this game came out. Uh, the general quality of the actual open world itself is quite amazing, considering um, most of like the stuff that you see is what like it is wasteland but the vast majority of like the whole space is insane uh so it's pretty it's a really big world and there's so much to explore uh so this bit of the clip uh on there this is like the sort of like the city sort of styles uh like the buildings are sort of destroyed decayed or whatnot and is very run down which is such a different comparison to the wasteland so even like this area here is this is near the beginning of the game uh and it's just just really good so monsters in the game uh this is a death claw it is absolutely terrifying when you come across it uh you wouldn't expect it in a game like this but some of the stuff is actually really creepy and definitely deserves a lot of stuff uh for detail especially the game 2008 where and in my opinion graphics wasn't very good and yeah, the monsters and that are just really created really well. Um, so, yeah, as I was saying about the monsters and stuff, the super mutants and all of that is insane. It It's just insane. I don't know how to explain it, really, to be honest, except that the detail that they put into the actual monsters and whatnot uh, in Fallout 3 is, is just amazing to me, considering it's 2008. Just remember, 2008, this game is 10 years old, and it's still necessarily keeping up with Fallout 4, which is insane. This monster terrifies me. I swear to God I had nightmares, right? This, if you're not scared of this monster, I don't know what you're scared of, because it is insane. Um, with everything on this, is just creepy. This is what I mean by the vast majority of monsters, uh, being it is so ver... Uh, ver verse like it's generally out there it's so much variety so yeah uh let's get into the guns the guns so the guns i'm showing you is uh the combat shotgun uh which is pretty much a normal shotgun uh with it's just it just packs a punch necessarily there's not really a lot i can really tell you about it apart from that it's a standard weapon and necessarily easy to come by um it's a regular gun sort of sense there's not really any wacky stuff to it they haven't like wire shooting out of it or you know some crazy technology that they've came up with it's uh generally just a normal shotgun but with a cool design in my opinion the graph like the cool graphic design um the next gun i'm going to show you is the laser rifle now as i said the the vast majority of stuff in this game is insane so the laser rifle shoots lasers obviously uh but the design of the gun is completely different compared to the combat right uh combat shotgun uh where it's it looks like a pistol uh which it probably it necessarily is uh but uh yeah it's a really good uh gun uh the damage i think it's like 13 uh where the combat shotgun is 19 but it's still a good gun and i definitely recommend it uh, so it comes down to the conclusion what I think of Fallout 3 and what I rate out of 10. So uh, what I think has happened with the game, so like the graphics, the design, the layout and everything, I'm probably going to give it a... I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10 on the basis of the gameplay, uh, how smooth it runs and um, everything to do with the graphics and how it's kept um, keeping up with the time uh, of general gameplay because then it came out in 2008. Uh, the only downfall it would be is the actual general story needs a bit more of a structure, but apart from that, it's all good. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and uh, stay awesome.